Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Anthony and today I'm going to show you how to create the custom input text field element using the view 3.js. So imagine we want to use the custom text field with our custom styles with our uh, label, hint, message, placeholder and uh, stuff like that and we want to control it from the parent. So let's create a new file called text text input, let's say dot view create a template, create a script, set up. And we're gonna say that we will have the input, obviously, we don't need type text for now. Uh, and we want to have the some sort of a label. And we're gonna have uh, a, uh, let's say hint message. And we will have a placeholder, some test holder. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now we want to in the app in the main uh, import text input. Uh, and we will put it here, text input like this. Right, so now let's see what we've got, we refresh the page. We have our label text and stuff like that. Uh, now I want to obviously control it in our parent component. So first thing we need to do is to add a property. So let's import define, define, define props from view. And we're going to say const props equals define props and we will have what we will have. First of all, we will need to have model value, which is going to be type string required true. Now I want to have a placeholder, which is going to be the same pretty much but uh, with default value as um, I don't know, placeholder, I want to have the label label uh, with the default label. And I want to have a hint with the same stuff here. Uh, and let's do it. Let's say that here we're going to have props label. Here, we're going to have props hint and placeholder is going to be dynamic with the props placeholder. Let's check this. And yeah, we have a default values. So now I want to populate it with uh, first of all, uh, the placeholder, placeholder, uh, let's say email, then we're gonna have label input, like enter your email, we're gonna have a hint, uh, please enter without mistakes. And let's see what we've got. It's working perfect. Now, let me make it a little bit bigger. Uh, now I want to see so we have a text input here, we have the properties populated, but I want to control it. So in order to control it, I want to add a V model, V model with let's say parent model. And let's create this variable const parent equals ref null. And obviously, I want to import ref from view. Now, let's see, will it work and do something. So if I input something, I obviously don't see anything in my parent mode, my modal value is also empty here. So what I'm going to do is I will say that value equals to props model value. And uh, on the input, input, I want to handle input, let's say, let's create this function, const 
handle input equals function, which will emit. For emitting, I need to define emits. Let's create const emit define emits, and we're gonna have update model value here. And here I will just do the, we're gonna receive the value, no, not the value, sorry, event. And we're gonna say that emit update model value event target value. And this is pretty much it. So let's check. Now we refresh. Let's see one, two, three. We have our model value populated and we have it emitted in the parent V model. And if we, for example, want to have some default value, default input value, we can just simply specify it here and we will have it here. Easy as that. Thanks for watching. Give a like, subscribe and see you in the next videos. Cheers.